So Chris Christie, we know he doesn't believe in term limits, but uh, he also doesn't believe in refill limits. Anyway, Chris Christie, <laughs> his, his polling, his, his polling, uh, some polling companies say Chris Christie's numbers have hit a ceiling. So have his cholesterol numbers. Anyway, <laughs> here he, uh, here he is. He was in uh, a greasy spoon in Iowa uh, doing it and talk. He's been talking to these people for two hours, right? So they're mm-hmm. sick of him already. And uh, who goes right. to a Christmas? And his blood sugar was dropping like yes. crazy. Like crazy. So here he is. And the young, so he's come out against uh, Michelle Obama. She has, she wants to make the lunches in schools more healthy for kids because kids eat crap food. Americans eat crap food. That's why we're all obese because we eat crap food because it's cheap and it's manufactured by corporations. Am I wrong about any of this, Frank? I don't think so, I have to say, no. So he's upset that Michelle Obama's getting kids to eat healthy. You know, I mean, you know, Chris Christie doesn't like anybody touching his food. So here he <laughs> takes a he takes a question from a young uh, a kid, a kid who I believe he appears to be 10 or 11, maybe tops. Here we go. Mm-hmm. What are you going <clears> to <throat> What are you going to do about the lunches because Okay, they were fine when Mrs. Bush was the first lady. But now that Mrs. Obama's the first lady. They've gone down. And first of all, the kids, he talks like he's about six, right? He's got that uh, Cindy Brady or that what's which Brady had the wah wah. That's what he sounds. Am I wrong about he sounds like he uh, sounds like a younger kid. He sounds like that's how a young kid so- talks. Am I wrong? Am I am I making this? He sounds like um, like a, a special needs Webster. That's going back. Here we go. Out. And I ate, I used to eat all the lunches, like Crispito and Square Pizza. Now? And not gluten-free stuff. Right. You know, this is interesting. This is the second time this has been brought up to me in two days. <laughs> it's true. The first lady has no business being involved in this. Okay? I mean, really. She's no business being involved in it. She wants to give her opinions. That's fine. She can give her opinions about what people should have for breakfast or lunch or dinner. She's like any other American. She can give her opinions. But using the government to mandate her point of view on what people should be eating every day is none of her business. This intervention into our school system is just another example of how the Obamas believe that they've got a better answer for everything than you do. Boy, The government should pick the winners and losers. I, I don't care what you're eating for lunch every day. I really don't. I want you to eat whatever your mother wants you to eat and your father wants you to eat. Your mother and father should make that decision for you. And then they'll send you to school sometimes with a healthy lunch. And then you'll throw it out. And you'll go to school and you'll buy something that you really want to eat, right? I understand the way it works. You know, for Christy, pandering to ignorant GOP voters is like taking bacon-wrapped cheese melts from a baby. <laughs> 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 you know that so by and the well, way it's well, very revealing about yeah they'll give you a healthy meal and then you'll throw it out and buy well whatever you want that sounds like his childhood probably that's, yeah that's he he knows the deal he knows how it works yeah. obviously chris we know you know how the food thing works okay uh, and by the way he's coming out with the whole thing about nutrition what kids should be eating for lunch in his new book called the art of the meal have you heard about that frank <laughs> I'm looking forward to that. Frank, can you believe it's been six years and we haven't thought of that joke until this week? <laughs> I know. <laughs> no. I okay. couldn't believe it when I saw Mark Fairland who had sent me that. I'm like, what? You've been waiting with this joke? The art of it the meal. Right, it writes itself, Frank. <laughs> it was right there in front of us, just like Chris Christie. In football. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Unlike a salad in front of Chris Christie. Chris Christie really hates yeah. unions. I heard his waistband is on strike. And, well, his uh, his gut has hit uh, new highs. Uh, and I, I love his logic. That's like, where, where does the government get off encouraging healthy uh, kids to eat healthy? Uh, where does the government get off um, trying to make people healthier so that uh, healthcare costs will go down and uh, it won't affect people's pocketbooks as much anymore and it'll make society better in general? Where does the government get off doing that? Yeah. And I don't think I don't think it's pre- none, of, none of Michelle Obama's business. The Obamas just want to tell you what to do with their with your life. They want right. they they know better than everybody. 
Yeah, who could forget the So was he was he when 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 Laura Bush was first lady, was he like Fuck you and your libraries. I don't give a shit. Don't tell me. Who are you to tell who are you to tell me to read? Yeah, I'll I'll read what I feel like reading <laughs> when yeah. I'm eating what I feel like eating. And I'll say yes to drugs. And say yes yeah. to drugs. You know, Chris Christie's overeating is why his pancreas called for a timeout. I don't know if you know that. <laughs> I do know that. I, I this here's a guy yelling about Michelle Obama trying to get uh, kids to eat healthier. And mm. there's I think there's literally video of him yelling at a teacher with an ice cream cone in his hand. Yes. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. He also got kicked off a train with a Slurpee. He did get kicked off of a train with a hey, Slurpee. He was true. he was being too loud too. Yes. Was that it? Yes. <laughs> He did. He did. They did ask him to leave the quiet car with his Slurpee. And it's true that now the only factory that's open in Jersey is the Cheesecake Factory. Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> well, I think one thing that I've learned after watching this is that definitely he's going to get that kid's vote. <laughs> sure, sure. That kid's yes, vote. exactly. And by the way, that kid said, "I ate the lunches when Mrs. Bush w was the first lady, but now that uh, let me tell you, Mrs. Bush was the first lady seven years ago." Yeah, that so, kid was two years old. So that kid's like 10. So you're telling me you were eating Mrs. Bush's lunch when you were three? That's a great point. Or four uh, years old? I mean, that kid's 12 years old tops. What are you, five years old? Okay, what are you talking about? Maybe when he says eating Mrs. Bush's lunch, maybe it's a euphemism. Maybe something. he means it metaphorically. Mm -hmm. I used to eat her for lunch. <laughs> Is that what he's saying? Okay, Is that amazing? So no, no one catches that. What do you mean you used to eat Mrs. Bush's lunch? What are you, 10? <laughs> I just know when yeah, I was younger, is, uh, I really I would, liked I eating square pizzas and um, ice square cream. Pizzas. We, we had soda. Bacon <laughs> is good for me. <laughs> All right. Anything else, Frank? Well, I would say that kid who was the most full of shit in the room, but Chris Christie was there. Yeah. And he had just had a large lunch, so he was the more full of shit. <laughs>